what more do you, can you add to this story? Well, listen, Lou Williams was the guy that a lot of teams in the league were, were looking at. Uh, they had multiple offers with first-round picks, so it was just a question of which of those offers they felt the best about. And some of that is about which, which Texans were going to be on that pick. The, the sweetener of Corey Brewer also being in this deal matters to the Lakers. But, look, make no mistake, the Lakers are making this trade because they want to keep their top three pick this year. And I don't know if you want to call it an outright tank, but this the statement that this trade makes is Lou Williams is too good. <laughs> they're, they're winning. He's the reason they're winning games right now. And the only way they keep their lottery pick is if they finish in the bottom three. Otherwise, that pick goes to Philadelphia. And if you look at what the Lakers have right now, yes, they have some nice young players, but that lottery pick, that top three pick, if they're able to keep it, may actually be the most valuable asset that they have. It was imperative that they put themselves in a position to do that. And this also creates room for the young players and the Lakers to, 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 to score more on offense. A lot of, they'd fallen into this, um, they'd fallen into this role with Lou Williams where he'd been so good this year, he'd done so much that people were standing around and watching him play and shoot and score in a lot of the same ways that they used to do that with Kobe Bryant.